It's all about English, English. Morning, noon, English, English. Oh, 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 oh. Idiots, I'm Corbin. Alexis. Ashley. Rick. It's a full house today for a movie review. Da! The girls watched a movie with us. This is your first time doing a movie review. Yeah. Your so, first Indian movie ever. No, no it's not. True. Not really. But your we first just, review. It's yes. true. So have you really watched a film if you haven't reviewed it for the internet? Definitely not. Nope. I don't think so. I've never <laughs> seen The Dark Knight. Until. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yes, we watched English Vinglish, our, our first endeavor into the wonderful and lovely Sri Devi. Other than her dance video Other that we loved, her, her snake charming video. Um, that you all hated, but we loved. We loved. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it came out in 2012. It was her last film, I believe, before she passed. Let's not talk about that yet. Uh, oh, no. But, well, you didn't know that? No. How old was she in this film? 50. 50. 50. It, oh, she wow. looked like 20. Yeah, she <laughs> looks amazing. That's very impressive. She passed away way too freaking young. Wow. Yeah. She was 55. It's sad. Yeah, it is. Anyways, we'll tell you at the end. Okay. But uh, you want to, it's going to be a completely spoiler Spoil review. It. Sorry. Uh, oh, Bran. There's a raven. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen this, please don't watch this review yet and go watch it. Thank you. Then yes. come back. We love you. Thanks. Who wants to read this? Enough? One of the girls. You don't want to read it, Alexis? It's okay. <laughs> a quiet, sweet-tempered housewife endures small slights from her well-educated husband and daughter every day because of her inability to speak and understand English. Good synopsis. Oh, no. that's, that's, that's partially that's partially there. Yeah. Um, and it's directed by this uh, female. I don't know it. I bet Gari? it's Gari? what? Yeah, Gari. I bet it's Gari. Gari. Shine. Shine. I think it's Shinde. Okay. Shinde. Uh, she also directed uh, Dear Zendagi, which I don't believe we reacted to. No, we haven't. But uh, I, I've seen the request for it. It's probably coming. I think. But it's yeah, she come. she wrote and directed. She this. wrote and directed oh. it, um, yeah. and obviously oh. starring Sri Devi. So what did oh, what Lord. what did you think about the movie? I uh, loved it. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> to say about it. I just <laughs> no, we're so, you need to know how much we're putting Alexis on the spot. She hates us she, right now. She, she really doesn't have a lot to say about stuff and feels bad that she doesn't really have much to say and she shouldn't because that's her right to have not much to say other than she loved it. Like Micah's response to everything <laughs> is pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so you started out the film um, introduced to Sri Devi mm -hmm. um, and her terrible, terrible family. Um, yeah. What did you think? What I thought that her child needed to be parented, first yes. of all. That girl was such a little brat. Um, not okay. Don't speak to your mother like that, ever. <laughs> <laughs> first of all. But I think it was so good. Shudevi obviously is amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think that's a secret to any of you people. But she's so good in just the little nuances of the choices that she made from an acting standpoint. And your favorite things are the little head nods I and can't. all of that. I just oh, can't. It's, so cute. it's just Yeah, if you didn't know that about me, but I am just I, it's inexplicable. It's a mystery to me among other things in my life. But when I see the, what you guys refer to as the Indian head nod, like, it, it always it heart. always touches my heart, but there's certain times when certain people do it, like when Sri Devi does it. That or if I it just I'm undone. You're smitten for the. I'm the utterly. Yeah. I am utterly smitten, <laughs> and I'm, I feel it in my heart. I but just, yes, I felt the entire time in this film. I watched it with my wife, uh, who loved it as well. Uh, but the entire time, I was just like this. <laughs> my entire the amount of times that we just looked at each other like what? The thing, the things that we, the thing we said over and over again was, oh my heart. Yeah. She's adorable. Was just She's my so heart, sad. my heart. And, and I the now. the French guy, and it's. Oh, just, the French guy. And I can't. Uh, I now relate to something that the stupid babies say all of the time, mm. which is, I only have one heart. How can you win it so many times? Mm. Mm. That happened mm. over and over with so many characters. The teacher. Oh, I he was absolutely great. loved oh, he was so the good. English teacher. Yeah. And the whole, everybody in the I class. loved all of the different dynamics that they put in. The storyline was just There's so beautiful. There's a lot beautiful. to talk about. Yeah. There's a lot to talk about. Um, but yeah, so, uh, but <laughs> let's talk about just quickly 
the very wonderful and surprising cameo. <laughs> oh, I, I lost my mind. So did I. Yeah. Was I was watching it and I jumped over. That's the big beast. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what, what I said. What is going on? And she's like, "Who's that?" And I'm like, "That's, uh, that's he's the biggest star like ever." That's <laughs> that's the that's like having Al Pacino show yeah. up. Yeah. And she, uh, she she was like, "I love him. She he's awesome." Yeah, I yeah. Love him. great scene. Like, I was like, oh, I didn't even know he was in it. I'm wondering if he's gonna be in it. He wasn't in it anymore. But he no. like killed the freaking cameo. Killed that scene. Oh, that was a he great, did. great, scene. great scene. So yeah, good. I shouted, "Big!" <laughs> and it, it proves it proves what I mean. You got to admit the fact that the, there is something to be said with, about star power, mm. because you could have put someone else in that scene who would have done an admirable job. But the fact that it was him mm -hmm. raised the level of my enjoyment of that scene because it was yeah. Big B and Street Debbie together. I did like the fact that in this film we there was a lot of cultural references mm -hmm. um, that we get now yeah um, like when they, he said his name was Salman Khan yeah the other Indian laughed and none of yeah. the other people knew why he was laughing I, I had to turn to the girls <laughs> I laughed and I went yeah I gotta explain why that's funny <laughs> like, okay. I, I know what that means now <laughs> uh, and have we had Ladoos? I don't think we have I don't think no, we but have. I, we are we want them. Some. It was driving me nuts all yeah. the sweets that we were seeing oh, looked, yeah. and the food it just looks so good and the way she made them and oh well, and to see it set in, uh, we all love New York so much, so. Yeah, I thought the via directing wise, this was beautifully directed. Beautifully One directed. Of, I think my favorite films that we've seen. 100%. Just in terms of just enjoying it. And the entire Yeah, the through, entirety of it. Uh, yeah. yeah. You didn't feel any, I mean, it was quite short for an Indian film. It was two. Mm -hmm. yeah, like two, it was two under two and a half. half. Yeah. I think it was two, two hours, five minutes. Uh, but it flew by. Flew. Um, Loved just every you were, minute. You were enjoying every second of it. Expect when she was on screen, you're just like, I'm wondering. Please answer me this, because this is the first thing we've ever seen of her, and it was and I know she's, yeah, sadly she's her legend. last. But is this how she is in all of her things, or like is that just her spirit, just this kind, gentle, gentle. soul? Mm -hmm. uh, is that just who she is, or like has she done other stuff? It was just this amazing performance. Like, right. She's this yeah. outgoing yeah. person. Right. Like, and then I've never seen another film and she's like Meryl Streep in, yeah. in, in right. uh, Devil Wears Prada. I know she's oh, a legend, yeah. but this is the only thing we've seen her in, so right. please let me know. what. Oh, obviously, what we should watch now. Yeah, that, the dad, uh, yeah, her husband. He, oh. yes. Oh. yes, he was. He, he played the dad in Life of Pi opposite Taboo. Oh, really? Was yep. he was <laughs> all there, too? Mm. Mm. He was... He was a very similar character, mm -hmm. um, he, but he wasn't a, he wasn't as insensitive. Let me tell you what I hated about this. Film. Talk He's to me. And it wasn't about the film. Right. Okay. I hated that she stayed with them. Oh, I, he wanted her to go with the Frenchman. She is unhappy. He is clearly unhappy and not trying at all. I'm just saying. That's just how I feel. I if you're not happy in a relationship. Leave it. You don't have to stay. <laughs> you're t both of you are clearly unhappy. Your kids are terrible. Leave them too. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> Your kids are terrible. God, they are. But awful. the dogs. Yeah. Don't leave the dogs. Like, Eat the dogs. Just they're terrible people. All of them. Well, I didn't. I didn't categorize them off as that. Just I didn't awful, even. awful people. But look at. Did you see the little girl realizing what she'd done and she was so she repentant was and heartbroken so at the dinner? And she's just gonna in, in five minutes yell at her mom. I don't you know. Don't know that. That's I think they wrapped because it her up dad is. And I think he too had a realization that he's been short. No. You don't no, think he did? I don't think he did. The I daughter definitely did. All he was caring about at the end of her speech was like, do you still love me? She should have said no. <laughs> I think it's sweet that she st she chose I understand to why she did stay, it. Like, with her marriage. Yeah. She chose to keep the commitment that she made. Bad example. Even... No, because because she said Bad says example this. for children. It's no. Don't stay in a relationship it's if you're unhappy. In no. The work. She's... she's and she's saying that part of she is taking fault for some of the problems in their relationship because she had given up on herself. Correct. She wasn't doing anything. Correct. And so she was, was just no. letting herself be walked all over. And yeah, now she's taking ownership. She's taking a stand of, no, I'm better than this, and I will be treated better than this, and I know that you love me because... Yeah. But it takes two to tango. It's it not does. Do. All he it cares does. about is her making Ledoux's because that's what she's born for. Hole. And then when she gets home, he doesn't want to talk to her. He just wants to have yeah. sex with her. True. What yeah. He Not do? deserving it. <laughs> right. Like he is literally an awful human. Yeah. And, and I. But at him. the same. At the same time. At the same time, she was taking ownership of the fact that she 
without excusing she didn't him. Do anything yeah, wrong. without excusing. No, no, no. She oh. she took ownership of the fact that she allowed herself to, to be, be treated diminished. that way and allowed herself to be diminished. That's what the Frenchman's role was in her life. To stupid. Help. That showed her she's no. worth. It's my no. fault that I allowed you to treat me this way. Well, you know, no, it's her that fault is that dumb, she, she, and I hate it. No, this is my thing because she she could have learned English. This is, I know. Corbin's take on this is going to be looked at like my piano take on... Um, no, I think they would all agree with me that he was an awful human being. This is actually poignant yeah. to the story. No, I, I wouldn't categorize him as a completely written off horrible... I have hope horrible. for the world. Yeah, I do too. I don't. I, I, have, I have hope, and I like... She said something to this effect in her monologue when she said that love and commitment has to transcend how you feel about something and you it's stay true. with something because you've had a commitment to it that even when it's rough, you're still going to press through and not give up on it. Yep, and she has um, hope that it can get better again. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, but, she's but, been in that relationship for how long and has it gotten better? It hasn't. Anyway, but, but she hasn't gotten better let, until now. Let's, let's move Awful. We're, Let's go on to something. Love him and that. their children. They're no. both terrible. No, the little uh, guy was really cute. He was annoying. Oh, uh, no, the little so guy? Much. No, he's annoying. Anyways, oh, wow. but, uh, he just, uh, Corbin it. just hates children. Uh, no, I love children, just not bad ones. Anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, I thought the, the direct, obviously the, the songs in this were really oh, good. Oh, the music was, um, was so, good. so good. The little... Like theme that they had kind of yeah. out of it. There was, was, so there was a little theme they had in it that was so reminiscent of Finding Nemo without plagiarizing oh, yes. it. A little bit, yeah. It had that same, the feels you get when you watch Nemo. And it, this, I love this movie as much as I love some of my favorite. There's a, I was thinking about the difference between, say, a film like Hater, which is, you guys haven't seen, mm -hmm. but that is a cinematic masterpiece, mm -hmm. right? It's not fair to compare that and this. Because mm -hmm. while this is not a cinematic masterpiece, this is one of my favorite movies ever. Forget I don't I don't equate my film favorites to Indian and American. It's it, they're movies. Yeah. Yeah. This is up there for me with my big fat Greek wedding. This is up there well, with, with you could as just far watch as it the same her. kind of feelings. Yes. The feelings that are similar. It's a very different story, but like Brooklyn, those yes. like heartwarming, heartwarming feelings where That's it's good one. just. It's a good one. Yeah, good one. If you haven't seen Brooklyn, it's a great film. Yes. Wow. It's Sir so Ronan's nice. real breakthrough. Ronan. Breakthrough role. Yeah. It's so, uh, so good. So I, what, I want to know what are some of the things that you liked in particular. I know you loved it, but what are some of the things you liked the most in the story and the movie? In the story? Yeah. Well, I could tell you something I disliked. Sure. <laughs> the husband and the kids. The husband and the girl. I love the little boy. <laughs> I, thought, I just wanted to hold Yeah, the daughter who was bad mouthed. The daughter, the she bothered me. Yeah. But what really bothered me was she was trying to buy her. Oh, please. Coffee. Oh. Oh, no. That, that scene really that made me off. so angry. That's, it made me that's, that's that really scene made me angry for a different reason. It wasn't realistic. <laughs> I thought it was. I understand why they did it. it. Yeah, they had they had to accentuate it in a way. It's heightened. I get it. It's right. It's New York. That place has everybody under the sun. Right. Foreigners out the butt. Right. And so they that but wouldn't actually have. They might be. A but they won't yeah, be like, you would you don't know how to order. She clearly can't speak English. Yeah. They know that. They yeah, know that. that it yeah. was I understand why they did it. It had to be heightened. I get it. But yeah. um it, but then it introduced the, the French guy who was a right. phenomenal actor. Love him a yeah. lot. I love him uh, so work. much. Beautiful work. Uh, I want to see what else he's been in. Uh, and the the whole everybody in the class, I thought that ensemble of the students in the class and that teacher. Just, I was love so good. every I, I love how they did the relationship between the Frenchman and yeah. Shri Devi. Yep. Because it, it was clearly he was smitten for her. Totally. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to use that word a lot in this review, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, but obviously, she she clearly liked him. Yep. But obviously, she she's from a very conservative uh, family mm -hmm. and a very conservative culture. And so the, um, the relationship, the, the way they handled it, um, I thought was really well done. Yeah. And because I was like, I. I wanted him to be with her, but I knew, I was like, it's not going to happen. It's no, I thought not it was really happen. sweet how they did the mix of his culture where French are just like, I'm pouring yep. all of my feelings yeah. out. And it made her so uncomfortable and he had no idea what right. that yeah, was. was. He was great, just It was a great scene when they explained that yeah. to him. Yeah, and that, that for me is probably, if it's not the thing I love the most, it's way up there, is the, the current throughout this, especially with her relationship with him, as well as the relationship of the students when they're sharing why they want to learn English. Mm -hmm. um, and then when David, the teacher, um, had his heart broken. Yeah. You know, and then and, they're, and they're yes. talking and he's listening outside the, the door. This message throughout of why can't we, I'm going to get emotional, why can't we treat each other with a level of respect and understanding even though we're different? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
uh, why can't we recognize, like for example, the, the guy who was quiet the whole time yeah. and then mm -hmm. finally said something. said something. And at first you can presume that the guy, because he was silent and he wasn't nice to everybody, that this guy was, you know, really yeah. when in reality, that was just, a wall. He was being yeah. very protective of his, of his, I'm his just heart. Here to listen. I'm I just, just yeah. Uh, I, I just thought that level of acceptance of each other and not being prejudicial and not judgmental, which was a key line in the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That for me is the most beautiful takeaway of this, mm -hmm. is, is the lesson you can get from this of watching this. If you watch this and don't walk away with, why can't we just be nicer to each other? Then there's something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. There's just, you, you just, there's something, you have a, there's a disconnect in your social and moral conscience. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was beautiful. Yeah, it was a great film. Anything, great film. Anything you didn't like about it? No. There was nothing I disliked. I mean, I could get really, really nitpicky on some of the acting choices that the kids had to do. Yeah. But I'm, I give kids a yeah. pretty long leash because mm -hmm. most kid actors are not extraordinary. What about all the white people in it? <laughs> um, Except I, for the Frenchman. He was good. You know what? I, I honestly didn't notice whether there were or weren't. Oh. Any white people in it? Well, the 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 groom and then the groom's father were both right. just just garbage. Like I, oh, I, think, I know what you're referring I think they to. Just picked yes. them up off the street. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. What Corbin's referring to is how in virtually every Indian film you see, the white people are not really good actors. I think it's on purpose because <laughs> yeah. like it, it'd be one thing if it was like a, any foreigner in a, in a film, but like all the foreigners in the in the class. We're all really, really good. Really good yeah. actors. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the teacher. I know y'all were. Oh, I loved him. I wasn't a huge fan. <sighs> but <laughs> I understand that's how y'all feel about Indians in American cinema. It's just, I don't know like <laughs> what it is. Because the French guy, he's white. He's really, really good. <laughs> but if it's an American yeah, white guy, it, is he, just garbage. Is he French? Because if he's not French, Ah, oh, yeah, a hundred percent believable as a Frenchman. Oh, yeah. I, I can't imagine he's not French. That's how good he was. Yeah. And I really, what you said earlier about Sri Devi, I would love to know: is this a complete departure from her work? Yeah. Or is or this, is this in the green who she is? She and like Tom Hanks, when you watch Tom Hanks, even when he changes things up. You're getting the core of Tom Hanks most mm -hmm. of the time, and that's what you love about Tom Hanks. Is that the same with Sri Devi versus like a Meryl Streep? You Where it's just... don't know what you're getting when you watch Meryl. Yeah. She's yeah. going to be a shape shifting. What's her next yeah. thing? Yeah. Uh, so I'd love to. All I know is I can't take my eyes off Sri Devi. Yeah, yeah, in both things we've seen of her, it's just I she's can't stop so looking captivating. At oh, just she, like, she has such a screen presence. Yep, it's, mm -hmm. it's and it isn't just her beauty because she's got. I mean, she's got the eyes of a of a doe, just these mm -hmm. big, beautiful mm -hmm. eyes. So big. Um, it's there's something about her spirit. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's so just there's something about so her gentle. spirit. Ten out of ten so. stupids. And it it made me very sad watching it because we missed we missed her by just a few months yeah because mm -hmm. uh, she passed away in i think it was january of 2018 mm -hmm. oh, wow. and it was very tragic she was she was i think she was in abu dhabi and her husband had come to be with her for something they were in a hotel she went into the bathroom to get ready she didn't reply he knocked on the door he felt something was wrong he broke in and she was face down in the tub and the cause of death was drowning they thought maybe it was heart attack they knew that she had some alcohol in her system, but I don't think there was enough there to definitively, I, you all will know way better than I do, but I did some research on it. But uh -huh. I don't know if she had a heart attack or if she slipped and fell and hit her head and, and mm -hmm. but that was at 55. That is Yeah, horrible. and this was her last film. She looked, so, am she looked amazing. She looked in I would never guess that she was Incredible so that she was 50 years yeah. old. No, she I looks, she, looks she so came on screen and I was like, this was like right before she died and she was like 50 something. Like what? Yeah. What the heck what is, is going on? I know. She looks like 25. I know. And I, I can't I can't say enough about the direction and the writing. Yeah, she, this, um, this director is, is, is really, really good. Uh, Guru, say her name again, please. So I don't mess uh, Yeah, her name is, I, I'm guessing, Gwari Shinde? Shinde? Yeah. Gwari Shinde? She, I thought she did a masterful job. Masterful, just um, a beautiful, beautiful film. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. 10 out of 10 stupids. People wanted a stupid o meter for Oh, yeah, stupid meter. I would give this. I, I can't imagine you making a, a more perfect film with this subject matter and this content. I think if you were to make a film and say this is the way it should be done, that's how you do it. It can't get better than that for this absolutely. kind of film. And that's please let us know um, what Sri Devi film we should watch next. And other stuff by this writer director. Yeah. Cause yeah. My goodness. That was yeah. amazing. It could be uh, old films, really old films, because I know she's been around a long, long time or some of our new stuff, just let us know, because we want to see more of her. We do. We love her.
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>